Hi guys, welcome to Beer Time. My name's Kyle. Let's do some day drinking today. Today I've got a, I always say it's a pretty interesting offering, but this one for me kind of just like has a whole lot going on with it. It's called Black is the New Wit. It's a uh, specialty uh, limited edition collab beer from New Belgian and Terrapin. Um, it's like white and black packaging on it. I kind of like it and don't like it. Maybe we'll get into that, maybe not. But it's definitely, you know, it's kind of distinctive and not, right? Um, anyway, this is wood-aged imperial black rye wit uh, and spiced ale. It's basically got um, roasted wheat and dehusked roasted barley in it, uh, components of rye, malted and unmalted wheat. And then it's got the wit components in it, which are coriander, orange. And then the thing is aged in sassafras wood. I mean, the thing is just ridiculous. Um, so, and the thing's running at about 7.4%. So not a huge beer, but, you know, maybe, maybe it should be, this should be terribly interesting. Um, so that's kind of fun. What's going on there? Bye-bye. Okay. So I'm going to just pour this into a Kyle-sized taster. It looks very, um, uh, it's kind of, look. it looks a little sticky, like it's, it's just the way it's pouring. Oh yeah, that's it. So yeah, this has got a lot of ingredients in it, uh, which is cool. Let's, uh, let's smell this. Mmm, that wood's coming through on here. Um, what can I say? It's just, it, it's kind of sweet, uh, uh, sweet, sweet wood, almost like, you know, saying it's like, you know, sassafras wood or whatever, but, you know, it comes through like a little bit of molasses, if, as you will, and it does have some spicy um, notes in it as well. I'm just going to get into this because it's just, it's too interesting not to. Hmm. That's good beer. It's sweet. Almost uh, cloyingly so, uh, you know, like it's it's definitely um, think uh, think molasses, right? Um, it, it's it's definitely a, a little a little sweet and sticky. I don't I don't get turned off by that, but it's not going to make you want a bunch of it, you know. Like I think sharing this thing's probably the way to go. But so, what does this have going for it? Well, it's extremely complex. It's got those kind of those kind of earthy molasses notes in it. It's definitely got um, some spice in it of the coriander, the orange peel. Think like Christmas, and you know, calling this you know a wit beer. It's only that because it does have you know some orange peel in it, um, and I guess it's you know it's a, it's you know wheat as well, but. Man, it's, it's got rye and some other stuff in it. It's a complex beer. There's a lot going on here. And based upon some other larger beers that I've had lately, you know, this is in some ways less balanced. It's more sweet and malty. It's got some wheat and bready notes in it. It's good. And here I am, you know, drinking this basically like halfway through the year. You know, it's supposed to be 90 degrees out today. This is not the right beer for that kind of weather. In fact, this is a perfect holiday beer, to be perfectly straightforward with you. This would be great to have with Christmas. You know, after you get your kids' toys like put together at Christmas Eve, this is perfect for that. And then when you wake up in the morning and you have to open up all those presents... It's also good for that. It's perfect for that. It's a delicious beer. It's got a lot going on with it. I think I definitely have this with something like a, oh, kind of a, you know, the, the, the better quality, you know, cheeses and meats. Maybe something like a stew, something that can hold up to it. I'm trying to think on that a little bit. Maybe even something spicy. 
But again, this is complex and it's not a utility beer. So, you know, putting it with soft tacos probably isn't the way to go here. Even really spicy hot taco, soft tacos. But that's neither here nor there. You know, this is a pretty great experience. And it's a pretty great little collab beer because, you know, what is the, you know, commercial viability of something like this year, you know, year round. So it's great. People are having a good time using grains in different ways, using some interesting ingredients and materials in different ways, and have made actually a really, a really good uh, beer here. This is actually brewed in Terrapin down in Athens, Georgia. So you're probably, you know, if you're in, and it's going to be easier to find in the South than in other parts of the country. But if you can track it down, it is quite good. And Track it down and have it with some friends. I mean, I would break this bottle down with four people and just have it, and you can talk about the flavors and stuff in it because it is uniquely complex. And, um, yeah, with the rye and, you know, the sweet notes in here and, and, and all of that, it's great. This morning, I don't want you to worry about me, but I'm going to end up having to work through this. I think this is a, a sipping beer today, and I'm going to be having a great time day drinking. I hope you can get out and do some day drinking. Get yourself a, a great beer like this. Black is the new wit. De an interesting beer, a neat beer, and, and a good beer. Um, and I will catch you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys. Bye-bye.